100 gram orange jig. Well and truly on top of them now. Ah, there we are. There we are. Heavy fish. Ah, there we go. This has a bit more weight to it. Big slow head shakes on it. Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am itching to get a fish today. For the last two trips, we haven't caught a damn thing, so very, very keen. I'm down here at a, a spot I haven't fished in over a year, so we're gonna give this a try. Gonna head out around the rocks, hopefully pick up some snapper on the softies and maybe even a kingfish on a live bait. But we've got to get out there, so no mucking around. We're on the water now. See you there. Ew. Gonna try and get a live kahua on the way out. Little softy. Gonna tow that around the rocks. Fingers crossed. Alright guys. Just got out past the first headland. We've got a really nice kahua on here. Don't come off, don't come off. They've got real soft mouths and it's real easy to knock the hooks out. Get this guy in. He is the perfect kingy live bait. Kingfish candy right there. Oh, live bait acquired. Oh, that is a that is a relief. I'm gonna rig him up now. I've run out of all my ten barrow circle hooks, so I'm actually gonna use an eight, which is. Too small for this live bait, but I'm gonna bridle rig it so there's more hook exposed. Through the top of his eye there. Same as you do it for a marlin. Rubber band through. Over the hook. Rubber band through there, over the hook. And then we do three. And two the other way. Man, if that livey there isn't worth a kingy, I don't know what is. Get him in the water, keep him fresh. Plan is to troll that lure, that live bait, out into the spot. I'm headed about six kilometers that way. We're headed uh, northeast down the coastline here. Um, looking at the charts, I've seen a little bit of rubbly deep stuff in by the rock so that's the plan but all of this coastline along here could hold snapper could hold kingfish could hold anything really just gonna stop off here on the way to my spot have a few casts see if I can't pick something up early good marks on the sounder here oh that took a while but we've got a fish on Been a pretty slow start to the morning. Finally got a fish though. Unfortunately, she feels pretty small. Here she comes. Yep, just a baby. There's nothing really happening in close. I think, I think it's because the water's too clear. There's like 10 meters of vis at the moment. So the fish are really skittish, I think. Anyway. We'll pop him back. Try and upsize now. There's birds just ahead of me. Heaps of anchovy schools, so seems like a good spot. Well, I've moved out a bit deeper now and I'm seeing a lot of anchovy schools. So I'm gonna try and match the hatch with this little micro jig. 
It's a 60 gram in a sort of greeny white color. We're gonna drop him down. And hopefully matching the hatch will, uh, will produce a bite. Fish are being very finicky this morning. Here we go. This feels a bit better. Just drop the micro jig. This one feels a little bit more substantial. Let's see, have we caught ourselves dinner? That is the question. It's coming up. Maybe caught ourselves dinner? Pretty desperate for a feed, to be quite honest. Have a look, see. Yeah, he's legal. Only just, but I'm pretty desperate, so he's gonna come home with me. Pretty slow start, really, but at least he's a fish in the boat now. Here's a jig we got him on. It's a 60 gram little green jig. Kind of matches the anchovy schools that I'm seeing, so. Lead him out. Try and get another one. We are on the board, which is primo. Oh yeah, he's got a little bit of toe. Don't think he's overly big. But we're gonna find out. Oh, there's a big school of them on the sounder. Let's put a mark there. Here he comes. Oh, bit on the small side, eh? Probably a legal fish. Let's give him a measure. Oh yeah, he's legal. Like I say, I'm pretty desperate for a feed, so even though he's only just legal, he's gonna come home. Got a couple of questions on uh, my last video as to how you icky a fish so that it doesn't flap around. And the trick is, you gotta hit him right in the right spot. So if you look at this fish, and you come from his eye, there's a little knob just at the top of his head. You wanna come about halfway up to that. There's a soft spot. Hit the icky stick into there. And then, as soon as you punch through it, he's gone completely limp. He's dead, and no shaking about. If he doesn't go completely limp the moment you hit him, you haven't hit his brain, and he's still alive, and you haven't achieved anything. Bleed him out. He'll go on the back. Go for another drop here. Just forwards of the drift. The anchovies are right under me. I don't know if you can see that on the sounder, but here's a massive bait ball of anchovies. <laughs> Okay, we're on the bottom now. Start working the jig. Switch back over to softy. See birds working up here. I might go up there soon. Here we go. Oh, this is tiny. Ugh. We can do better than that one. Definitely do better than that one. Something that could eat you. Just got smoked on the drop. Here we go. Oh, that's a better fish. Yeah, he, uh, he smacked it on the fall there. Oh, he's got some go. There he is. Beautiful. He's actually not that big. <laughs> Thought he was gonna be way bigger. Is he even legal? Thought this guy was going to be a lot bigger. But a fish nonetheless. Numero tres. For this morning. You know it's bad fishing when you're happy with that. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. At least we're getting the feed, which was kind of the main goal of today. This bird has just managed to fly into my line and get all tangled up. Buddy, what have you done? Uh, this isn't ideal. Buddy, just calm down. I want to get this line off you. 
Don't bite, don't bite, don't bite. Just chill. Just chill. 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 We're gonna get you free. Chill. 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 Stop. Stop. Just chill, buddy. I wanna get this line off you. Deep breaths, buddy. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, buddy. We're nearly there. Oh, he's got sharp ass claws. Come on, I think you're nearly there. There you go, buddy. Oh, <laughs> that was not ideal. Bugger. Oh, well, at least he's free now. <laughs> that was annoying. Trying to catch fish, not birds. Okay, let's go back to fishing. Or fish, not birds. Oh, here we go. Just while I was trolling that livey, I came over some marks and I put a jig down. Oh, this feels like a much better fish. Oh, yeah. They've been smacking it on the fall, eh? The last few fish that I've caught. I can see him coming up on the sounder. It's about halfway up now. Oh, much better fish. Much better fish. That's what we wanted. Proper panny. Ay, ay, ay. That's what a pan sized snap is supposed to look like. Well and truly blown his swim bladder, so he's definitely coming home. Anyway, we're going to drop another jig. That guy can go in there. Another drop, eh? Heaps of fish stacked up on the sounder. Woo. Good day, buddy. Maybe, maybe not. Too small. See ya, buddy. Ah, there we go. Another fish. Maybe slightly better. They're not very big today. I upsized my jig because I've drifted out into deeper water. It doesn't seem to be slowing down the little guys. Yep, just a very small snapper. Upsize the jig to 100 gram, up from the 40. Come on, I want something bigger. Give me a big dog. Just have to stick at it, I guess. Ah, there we are. Ah, just another little one. They're getting smaller. You switch to a bigger jig and they just get smaller. Try again. Man, there's so many birds around. How's it not kingies cruising? Look at this. And the fish are just not on the chew. Completely surrounded by a workup. And there's nothing happening in it. Look at this. Mental. So we're in 38 meters now. We're dropping 100 gram orange jig. We're just dropping him all the way to the bottom, lobbing him forwards of the drift a little bit. That way, when he hits the bottom, he's straight under the kayak. And we're just working that slowly about the bottom, maybe 10 meters of the water column. And yeah, she's been slow, but Seems to be just a game of perseverance today. It's the bottom now. Just half a wind and then pause. So half, 
up, up, up through the water column. And we drop it back down. Simple as that. Oh, this has a bit more weight to it. Heavy fish. Heavy fish. Oh. Oh, baby. Let's try and clear one of these other lines. Oh. It's been slow. It's been about 30 minutes since I caught a fish. Oh, this is heavy. Whoa, whoa. I hooked this one right on the bottom. Feels a lot better. I wouldn't say she's massive, but she's better than what I've been catching. Big slow head shakes on it. Nah, she's not huge, I don't think. Fish, oh, she's got, she's got a little bit of toe. Turning the kayak around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Must be getting close now. So it's a respectable snapper, that'd be my guess. Oh, that's a better bloody fish. That is a much better fish. Up the size of what I'll take home for dinner, but well, he's in good condition. Yeah, I'm... Try not to lose this guy. Oh, mate. There we go. Oh, that's a better snapper. That's a better snapper. Yeah, buddy, that is a way better fish. Oh, yeah, buddy, stoked for that one. That's the one I came out here for. None of these little pinky things. Give him the old icky stick. So that's probably the larger size that I would keep. I wouldn't keep anything much bigger than this, but he is gonna be so good eating. We'll make sure none of them goes to waste. I'm very happy with that, very pleased. And that was just on the um, 100 gram orange jig there. If I can get this hook out, he's hooked really well. That's the jig we got him on. Just been dropping that one down to the bottom, working it through these bait schools. It's been pretty slow going, but we persevered and we've wound up with a bloody nice snapper. So happy with that one. Get him in the back and we'll try and get another one. Now that we've got the uh, the first proper fish of the morning. Still no action on the live bait, but that's all right. We'll just see how it goes, really. Anywho, we'll get back to jigging. Here we are. Oh, dropped him. Got him again. Ha! That's funny. Came back for it. Stupid fish. Well, it's turning into quite the productive snapper session here. Onto another fish. Took a while to find him, but seems that there's an odd, the old patch out here deep. This guy's coming up. Feels like another penny. Let's see. Yep. 
another nice fan size snapper. I've probably got enough for a feed now, so we'll pop this guy back in the drink. Beautiful eating snapper there, but we've, uh, we're limiting our catch, not catching our limit today. So we can go home. In for another drop. How good is that? Finally found some bloody fish. Oh, there's heaps of them now. Every drop now I'm getting one. Don't know how big this guy is gonna be. But the slow jigs are working, that's for sure. I think he's about the same as that last one. Here he comes. Just another nice fan sized snapper there. Oh no! Oh no! Bruh! No, my leader just popped. Oh, I just lost my jig and the fish. No, retie your bloody leaders. That, that assist hook has been tied on there for like a month now. Oh, and the fluorocarbon's gone. Oh, that was a rookie mistake. That was rookie as bugger. That fluorocarbon, ah, uh, yeah. If you didn't know, fluorocarbon, the knot strength deteriorates after a while. If you load the knot too much. And uh, that's a perfect example of why you retie the knot before you go fishing. Bugger. Oh, well, we'll tie another one on. Luckily, I've got a few, so let's get re-rigged. Alrighty, a fresh jig, blue and pink, seeing as we lost our orange one. Simple six wrap uni knot, trim the tag. There we have it, straight into the drop. Well, I've stopped catching fish, which tells me I've drifted away from them. So we're gonna head back up to that patch that I was catching and uh, go again. Just uh, wanna work the zones that you know are holding fish. So using the GPS, I'm gonna just plot back up where that last drift started and uh, go again. Something's just picked up the live bait. Oh baby. The big bait, gotta give him a while to eat. Oh smokes. Holy shit. Well guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I am a long ways offshore now after you've seen me catch that last snapper and tie that new jig on. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for the snapper fishing today. My head cam's gone flat, but I'm gonna make this a two-part video because there is a very good reason I am this far offshore. I just got towed all the way out here by a massive freaking Marco shark. So this is gonna be a two-part video I hope you like that snapper fishing. I've got more than enough for a feed, so I'm gonna head in now. Stay tuned for what happened next though, because that was mental. That was the most crazy fishing we've experienced. Oh mate, stay tuned for part two of this one. That was a crazy experience. You. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that little session on the snapper, but we're back at the beach now. I figure I'll show you my haul. Beautiful spot here, doubtless bay, can't beat it. And well, it's doubtless that we got a bin full of snapper. Five fish in there, keep me going for a little while. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, consider subscribing. Um, stay tuned for part two, because what happened after you seen that last snapper was pretty bloody hectic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you soon. Phew. Smoke. Smoke. That 
was too nuts. That was too nuts. Oh, we're boosting now. Okay, we're touching trace. That is a caught fish. 